light, flame, and sound. The life of a traveler. So many... Tea! Indeed. Though after five years, I'll be ready for a break. It is true. You have been at it far longer than I. Where will you go next, when you have all the world to choose from? Home, of course. Mercenaries. All fancy weapons and no skill. Don't stand on ceremony. State your business. Huh? Hi? Eh? Why not? There! Done! You must gather your party before venturing forth.
Yes? Yeah? If this is your deer, you need a new game warden. Name's Heravius. Hungry? I can't eat all this. First catch of the day, help yourself. And ruin the original texture? That's the best part! <laughs> Just see for yourself. Eat up! Gods, no! Don't eat it! I assumed you realized I was being a churlish pawns. I applaud your bravery, but unless you've a cast iron stomach, I don't recommend eating the feces tube. One ornery Stelgar. Though looking at the deer's insides, it had a malformed but delicious heart. Galloway chose a fitting end for this fine animal. Pardon me, I shouldn't pray with my mouth full. Other than the delicious venison, new trees to document, new animals to sketch, new sights to be seen. So if you're traveling the deer wood and need another set of hands, I'd welcome the safety of a group. I'm trained by the celebrants of Hawk and Ivy of the Fisher Crane Tribe. I know more than my share of nature magic, and, well, I don't shy away from a good fight. I have business with the druids that live near Twin Elms. Splendid! It'll be an honor to run with a pack for a change. Farewell. Yeah? 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 As a peripatetic loner, I'm not privy to the latest news, but the Hollowborn Children is a tale that has reached even my reclusive ears. It's been a long time since I've spoken with my circle. They'd probably tell you what I'd tell you. This plight was most certainly the consequence of someone trespassing into Nguithen places, not meant for folk. Any time a life is separated from its soul, I wanted to pretend it was just a rumor when I first heard of it. In my youth, I'd cursed the Deer Woodens for being ignorant despoilers that breed out of control. But soulless babies? What heartless gods would inflict that kind of tragedy? Need something? My second favorite subject. What would you like to know? My mother's crotch. You? I grew up in Erglonfoth, specifically in and around Thane Bog. 
My people, the Fisher Crane tribe, are migrant stewards of the land. I've walked the whole of Glanfoth many times. It's a long story, and... and I haven't really told it before to an outsider, so bear with me. I struggled with spirit shifting, the final rite of passage in my druidic training. Then I got my answer. An answer, at least. In the form of a vibrantly colored Stelgar that pounced from the underbrush and made a salient demonstration of its capacity to eat things one-fifteenth its size. Well, go f- Oh, you actually meant that. Thanks. My kin didn't find anything positive about this tale. As the beast was lopping off bits of my handsomeness, I remember trying to fight back, swinging with arms too short to reach. I felt I had the energy for one last swipe at the beast's nose, and when I lashed out with a punch, my arm felt twice as massive, and my fingers sprouted talons. In a rush of power, I shifted into a mirror of my assailant. Apparently, he couldn't pick on someone his own size. Well, if you don't know me, you can't trust me. And if you can't trust me, odds are low you'll leap in front of a flying arrow to save my life. I've been meaning to visit the druids of Twin Elms to see if they know more about my spirit shift. If our journey takes us there, perhaps they can enlighten me with more information about the Autumn Stelgar.
Wild? Yes, I suppose all of us were a bit wild as my tribe was migratory and we didn't live in permanent houses. But I understand what you're trying to ask. Yes, a slight plurality of Glanfoth and Orleans have forest plumage. Growing up with meadow plumage, I was assumed to be weaker than others my age. The Huntmaster of my tribe only chose apprentices from the forested kin, or rather, wild Orleans, as they're called amongst slave-owning bigots. I grew up in Air Glanfoth, specifically in and around Thane Bog. My people, the Fisher Crane tribe, are migrant stewards of the land. I've walked the whole of Glanfoth many times. Curious about your compatriots? Who He's nasty, brutish, and tall. So, two-thirds like me, I suppose. The circumference of his neck exceeds the circumference of my torso at its thickest point. They sure do breed them big and dumb in the deerwood, don't they? Now I'm being a brat. Truthfully, I think the guy's a lot more gentle than he pretends. He's certainly got a big heart for animals, at least. Which is rather telling of who he is under that soldier exterior. Oh, him? Him I don't mind too much. Though I could pitch a tent with the pole wedged up his anus. I could smell something funny on him. Uh, two cents? Uh, not quite. Uh, well, whatever it is, take note of his mood swings. She actually steps lightly when we travel outdoors, which is more than I could say for the rest of you. They do things differently where she's from, but she knows her way around the woods almost as well as I do. Almost. Oh, I think I could fit three of me, plus a remainder of a fourth Horavius inside that giant. Gods, am I glad he's friendly. And between you and me, he has a better singing voice than the prettiest lasses I know from my tribe. It's one part unsettling, two parts arousing. And it makes me wish I still had both ears. Oh, love at first sight. It's like Wow carved an ever-changing gash in his brain, and every hour he's a different flavor of angry. Durance makes me feel like I'm the sane one. He smells like fear in the mornings and rage in the afternoons. We can speak another time. Hmm? If doubts and curiosity plague you, you're skidding your nut. Yeah?
I feel sorry for whoever has to clean up this place. A few repairs, and this keep will be a sight to see.
Grave does <laughs> to Margaret if there ever was one. That's so vulgar. That's how it brave does be lost. You look at this. Can't get a good shot.
Yeah? Sure. There, done. Hey. Hey. You're awake? Good. You were uh, kind of thrashing around, eyes rolled back in your head. You, uh, you don't seem like you get much rest at night. You got those dark circles under your eyes. It's the watcher thing, man. I'm sure it just takes some time to adjust, is all. I'll try to let it sort itself out. You better wake up faster next time. If doubts and curiosity... Huh. Huh. I suspect the answer. Huh. Huh. I suspect... The cost of troubling me. Huh. I suspect the. No problem. Gods keep you. Good day, stranger.
Yeah? Let's go! Let's go! There, done. Hmm? No problem. Hail, Traveler.
Sure. Ready, Watcher. Hmm? Brave thou Shelot. How do you do? Eh? Brave thou shalt believe. Let's go! Would you look at this? Let's go! Officer's work! Welcome.
Before I knew it, the Stelgar was on top of me, and I... That stops him. What? No! I was spirit shifted, and she was in heat, so I aimed for the throat, but not with an... You cannot venture forth while in combat. One minute, my Justiciars were training the Forge Knights. In the next, they were being cut to pieces. But the survivors owe their lives to your skill. You fought valiantly. I'll send word to Fleetbreaker Castle immediately. We clearly didn't understand the Forge Knights as well as we thought. For now, we'll have to continue recruiting the old-fashioned way. I'm glad you agree with my assessment of the situation. And if I'd listened to Dunstan, none of this would have happened in the first place. We were all smiths back in Hodred's day, though I'm about the only one here who still gets his hands dirty.
I'm a forge master. I'm a master smith for the Crucible Knights. Why not? There, done. Yeah? Got it. 